Alright guys, welcome back to another video of KingX.X coming to you guys with a brand new video and today in this video we are going to be going over the Season 6 roadmap for Modern Warfare on PlayStation yesterday and today you guys were able to pre-download the update early which is actually really nice so you don't have to do the big 20 gigabyte update but there is going to be a multiplayer pack that you do have to download which is about 7 gigabytes on multiplayer and there's another 5 gigabytes if you guys want to for spec ops but with that being said let's go ahead and go through the roadmap itself because there's actually a lot of stuff in here so for the launch week we have the subway system in warzone which is actually really cool it's like an underground system that has been shown in pretty much a couple other trailers Limited time modes such as Armored Royale, new operators which is Farah and Nikolai, both of them were in the campaign so that's really cool to see that they have come back into multiplayer. The R700 which is known as the SPR208 is now in multiplayer and the AS Val. I'm going to be honest I don't know what model the R700 they're using because it's not exactly the same one that was used back in Call of Duty 4. It is more of it seems like a modern version because it actually has a mag rather than where you load in the bullets by the side of the gun which is kind of interesting. Also, two multiplayer maps, Milestore Tank Factory and Broadcast, which returns from Call of Duty 4, which was one of the very first multiplayer packs in Modern Warfare, and actually the only pack in Modern Warfare, which is actually really cool to see. New gunfight map, which is Station. They pretty much literally just took it from Warzone. There's a new ground war map, Verdansk Riverside. There's also a new multiplayer mode called Killstreak Confirmed. Pretty much how that mode works, you literally get kills, but every time to help get your kill streaks, you have to pretty much confirm tags, which is actually kind of an interesting mode. There is a new finishing mode, or a new finishing move called Vampire Bat. Similar to one of the finishing moves that we already have, I think, in Modern Warfare from the last season. During Season 6, October 20th to November 3rd, there is a Warzone event called Haunting of Verdansk. A new limited time mode, there's new rewards in it, and there's also more to it as well. I guess we'll have to figure out what's going on with that. It seems like it's going to be literally the night version of Warzone, which is actually going to be really cool to play. There's a new melee weapon that will be coming at some point during the mid-season event or during just the mid-season update, which is the butterfly knife, so it's actually kind of cool to see it re return as well. It says in the roadmap there's also some more coming as well, but not too sure what that is. I'm kind of honestly wondering where the AA-12 is because that was a gun that was leaked, and for some odd reason it's not inside of the Season 6 roadmap, and I don't think it's coming during the season, so kind of interesting see what they'll do with that for week two there is hardpoint hills and kills which is a new multiplayer mode there's another new multiplayer mode called gun game tdm and hq firefight coming in week three and during week four and possibly week five or six gunfight tournaments which is awesome to see always love the rewards you guys can get for that and tdm snipers only I actually think snipers only TDM would actually be really fun to play but that is pretty much everything there is when it comes to the season 6 roadmap. I'm honestly kind of excited for this it's definitely going to be really fun to play and I'm actually super excited to play broadcast I mean literally broadcast is probably one of my favorite maps from black from modern warfare's dlc pack and i actually kind of want to see how it actually plays because it's literally been inside of the warzone map pretty much since like the day warzone released but the only thing is is that it wasn't in multiplayer which kind of sucks so i'm actually kind of glad that they are bringing it back you guys can definitely let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments what is your guys thoughts so far on the season six roadmap and so far what you thinking of season six from what you've seen i'm actually thinking it's going to be a really good season i'm really wondering what's going on with that halloween themed version of warzone i think it's gonna be super cool to play and i definitely plan on making a video on that but with that being said guys make sure to like subscribe put on post in your case so you guys don't miss another video i'll be putting out a ton of videos later tonight and tomorrow so be on the lookout for that but with that being said guys have a good rest of your day i'm out peace she better than most I need a palace I need a horse If you want gold Then I am the source I need a crown I need a sword I got my team We going to war You want